WWRR, Scranton, Wilkes-Barre, WMMC, Berwick, Bloomsburg, Hazleton, WYCK, Plains. Powered by Mohegan Sun Poeto. The River. 105 and 1035. This is music on the menu on the river. Featuring Northeast PA's best artists. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Never mind. She can move me like the stereo, like a song on the radio. She's an angel in the morning, yeah, that's me. And now, here's your host, Alan K. Stout. So I got that going for me, which is nice. All right, everybody. Happy Sunday night. Welcome to Music on the Menu on the River. Alan K. Stout with you as I am again. <laughs> <laughs> I almost said always am, DC, <laughs> because that's my usual opening uh, yeah. monologue there. Um, how do I say this? Back again after a while. Nice. Uh, bringing you Northeast PA's best original artist, playing this, some of the best music recorded right here in northeastern Pennsylvania. Hanging out with D.C. Taylor, who I have not seen since March. Hello, stranger. <laughs> How are you, my friend? Good, Alan. How's it going? Good, you good. Go? Should we queue up like peaches and herb or something here? Because <laughs> it feels <laughs> so good. <laughs> Reunited. Oh, what a what a crazy couple of months it's been. Um, no kidding. You know, we... And, you know, we, we were being lighthearted here because we deflect. I think that's human nature. Sure. Uh, but obviously it's been a, a real, a real tough few months for, for our country and, and people. And, um, you know, uh, just want to immediately before we get back to music, which I can't wait to do, want to give a big shout out to all the frontline workers, uh, who have, you know, held, held this country together, uh, for the past few, few months. And that includes doctors, nurses supermarket employees, people that people that had to go to work when, when most of us were, were told not to come to work. Mm-hmm. And, and so, um, you know, I want to thank them and, and, you know, I certainly also offer condolences to, to anybody that, that lost someone to this, to this virus, which is, you know, taken, taken away so much of our lives, but obviously has taken the life of, uh, 150,000 people in our country as of, as of today. So, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to say that right on the top, we're going to play a whole bunch of, of music for you tonight. Most of it, pretty much all of it, uh, that has come, uh, since we've been off the air, we did our last show around the end of March. Yeah. Yeah. I remember DC walking out of the casino that day, uh, and things were starting to get a little crazy. They were starting to cancel things. And, mm-hmm. you know, yep. And, and I, you had that uneasy feeling, you know, I remember, you know, not really wanting to walk through the casino myself that uh-huh. day. I, I went out the other doors down the escalator towards the track. Yeah. Um, and it was only a couple of days later that the casino was closed. Yeah. And yeah. so, you know, that's all, you know, four months ago now. So it's, you talk about uh, things kind of starting to get crazy. I think the one thing I remember first hearing where that when they canceled it, I went, oh, Wow. That's, it was, um, what it's one of those music fests, South by South, South by Southwest. Yep. When they canceled, I said, Oh, this isn't good. They're canceling something that big. And they did that fast. Yeah. Yeah. The NBA was fast. Uh huh. The NBA, it was like the NBA canceled the season. Boom. This was like, you know, around the middle of March. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then South by Southwest was, I think a day or two after that. And that's when you're like, wow, you know, this is, this is, this is getting serious. So, So, um, you know, so much has happened, you know, and we'll talk about it. I mean, Jerry Hledzik passed since I was on the air last. Yeah, yeah. The Band Together for Brett show, which we had been talking about so much in the springtime up until then, we had to cancel that. We didn't even postpone that. And I'll talk about that a little bit later. So seeing the bands do the live streams from home, uh, seeing some of the events that were put on, we'll, we'll talk about it during the show. But let's get to some music right now. This is the brand new song from Joe Burke. It's called Oak Tree. Mine moves in the mist of an early horizon Sun shines on the bits that have always been hiding 
shed signs of residual mess like an old tree. Up straight, I can barely see over the dead leaves. So long, I'm sorry I'm stuck here. I cannot explain the reasons they're right. From under, I cannot escape. Brother, the changes in passing of time, a thousand frustrations moving my mind. I'm at an age where I wanna have found some kind of rage that is forcing me out. What's up, everybody? It's Stephen Murphy from Modern Ties. You're listening to Music on the Menu with Alan K. Stout on the river.
Modern Ties here on Music on the Menu on the River with a song called Downtown. And before that, Joe Burke with a song called Oak Tree. Joe just released that track on Friday. You know, we're talking D.C. about some of the stuff that's happened since we've been here together on the show, since we've been broadcasting here mm -hmm. on Sunday nights. Um, Jerry Hlezik died, I guess it was early April, yeah. I remember, because I called in. Yep. You were kind enough to have me on yep. to share some thoughts on Jerry. But we haven't been here on Sunday, and we've been playing Jerry's music here on Sunday for for many years. So you know, I want to express our condolences there to to Jerry and his family and friends as well. And the banding together for Brett show, which was supposed to be happening at the Woodlands on April 11th, was postponed originally, and then we decided to cancel it and not even try to reschedule it. And I want to explain why. I talked about this on one of the podcasts I did from home, but obviously I didn't talk about it on the radio. Brett, um, Brett is the one that asked us not to reschedule that show because what happened was, you know, Brett would had the surgery for Brett Alexander, um, had the kidney transplant at the end of March and he was not going to be able to work throughout the summer as a musician. And so that's why we we're doing the benefit to help him out. Well, then what immediately happened in March was none of the musicians could work mm -hmm. and everybody lost their gigs all summer. And so basically Brett felt that he wasn't in, he, his situation at that point wasn't any different than any of his friends. Right. Yeah. And he did not yeah. feel comfortable having a benefit for him with these guys and women, these musicians that ha that also couldn't get out and play. Right. And so he asked us uh, very politely and with, with, with appreciation to, to not reschedule it because he would have felt awkward, obviously having a benefit when, mm -hmm. when, none, when they were all in the same boat at that yeah. point. And yeah. So that's what happened with that event. And so, um, but, um, you know, as I said, people, the way people came together for him, uh, the GoFundMe campaigns, the, the, the way that everybody lined up to play immediately on a Saturday night, the gesture itself. Sure. And what a, what a great night that was going to be. That doesn't go away. Right. That, that's still something that, uh, hopefully he can, um, you know, he can, he can take some solace and, and some comfort in is that it was, everybody wanted to play that show for Brett Alexander that the, night. The music community around here, the way everybody immediately steps up is, uh, it, it is quite impressive. It Very really, heartwarming. It really is. We're going to talk about some of the other stuff that happened uh, a little bit later in the show, you know, during, during the last couple of months. But speaking of Brett, this is a song that 
his band uh, Gentleman East dropped during all this. It's called Hanging On. Check it out. Sleep, my dear. It's not over yet. Such is the price to live without regret. And we'll rise and fall and move on. And the feeling was right, but the words were all wrong. Now you pray the queen And now play the fool And it's anybody's guess Where that goes And just another night In a warm telephone Hi, this is Patrick McGlynn, and you're listening to Music on the Menu with Alan K. Stout on the River.
Patrick McGlynn here on Music on the Menu on the River with a song called Parallel Hearts. Before that, Gentleman East with a song called Hanging On. Obviously, we haven't been on the air here since late March. A lot of new music has come my way. Uh, people I want to appreciate that, too. Everybody that kept sending me music, uh, sending me their CDs and emailing me MP3s over the last couple of months. I saved them all and listened to them all. And so playing a whole bunch of them here tonight. And we'll also be doing a bunch next week as well you know and maybe the week after that even because we you know we got a great stockpile of new tunes here to play for you you know dc i was thinking about the um did you uh did you grow a beard during grow a COVID? beard no i i keep the uh i keep the face shaved uh, okay. because i've tried to grow beards in the past i'm very i'm very fair haired and oh, okay. fair skinned <laughs> oh okay uh, so uh it doesn't it doesn't come in right so no i keep shaving but I do have a nice little kind of you, mullet. You do going have on. you do have some some going on around the back there. <laughs> I got a, I guess actually it's more like a skullet at this no, point. No, it's not a mullet I'm, though. Because I'm going. Uh, it's don't not, no. It's don't not. be hard on yourself. No, no, it's just a little long in the back. That's all. But yeah. you don't have like that buzzed halfway over the ear thing going. That, no, I don't. That's have that the either. mullet. I, I think or oh, okay. over the ear buzzed. You know? Uh yeah, I got a uh, something. You're like just that. growing it a little. That's all. <laughs> yeah. I had a beard and then I didn't have a beard. I saw. And then I grew it again. And then change it off. I had two beards since I've seen you last. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, I mean, you know. Adventures in facial. Everybody, everybody just worked through this, you know, and I guess it was one of the kind of, one of the amusing things about the whole thing was seeing people's pictures. And yeah. Masks and all that. Uh, 
Let's play another brand new one for you right now. This one's from Brendan Frisk from his album Relaxylvania, a song called Fanfare. Tom Flannery, and you're listening to Music on the Menu with Alan K. Stout on the river. Find the wall that I can slide down Close to the door that gets me out of town Catch your eye before the time's gone Then divert by pushing on till dawn Can't you say that's just me, can't you see? Put in the time to take you away From the ones who got nothing left to say What you dream is what you deserve so take a chance if you still got the nerve Tell me where, I'll take you there Just tell me where Break 
Break it down until it feels good Break it down until it feels good Break it down until it feels good What matters most matters not at all To the ones who won't offer a hand when you fall If you can feel a tear on its way down Then you're worthy of that flag in your ground Together one, together all Break it down until it feels good Break it down until it feels good Break it down until it feels good Tell me where it doesn't hurt When you decide what love is worth to you Hoping dreams they come and go But never in the hearts of those Who decide to follow through Changes everything but love the Drops from the stars stuck up above Styles they come and styles go Where they stop to rest Ain't nobody knows But love stays Come what may Come what may Break it down until it feels good Break it down until it feels good Break it down until it feels good Tom Flannery and Brett Alexander here on Music on the Menu on the River, a song called Break It Down. Those two gentlemen collaborated during this whole thing remotely. Um, Tom at, working at his, uh, his his home and, and Brett at his home studio. And uh, they recorded four or five songs nice. uh, just since March. And so mm-hmm. I've got them all. And so that's the first one we're playing for you here on the show. But we'll, we'll give them all a spin for you over the next couple of weeks. Before that, brand new music from Brendan Frisk. A song called Fanfare. That's a pretty cool sounding tune. I, I dig that. You know, DC, you want to give some shout outs too to, to some of the stuff that we've seen since we've been here last on the air. How the musicians immediately began, you know, getting creative and, and doing the live streams from home. Oh, yeah. I watched so many of those and really enjoyed them. Carl Hall did a series which where they collaborated with Mohegan Sun Arena. They did, I think, four or five of them. Uh, and then you just had people doing them from their house. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mike Miz did one from the monument at Woodstock. Oh, wow. At like sunrise <laughs> one morning. Right, yeah. It's incredible. <laughs> I mean, you know, I just loved seeing people say, okay, what can I do? You're telling me what I can't do. Uh-huh. What can I do? Yep. They did an event down at the arena um, about two weeks ago, uh, Come Together, um, a community benefit for the arts, mm-hmm. which uh, Joan Ardon put together working with the arena. I couldn't make it that night. I had something going on with my kids. But, um, you know, I saw some of the clips online, and, uh, you know, that was great. You know, people came in their cars. Mm-hmm. And I got a real nice email, actually, from Joe Nardone after that event. Um, and because I had worked with Joe so many years on the Concert for a Cause uh, with the album, and, and Joe was, Gallery Sound was a sponsor of Concert for a Cause for, for years. And, uh, you know, I just said, hey, great job last night. And uh, he said, well, you know, you know, I kind of, he was inspired by Concert for a Cause. Mm-hmm. And he said, you know, what working with you on that show was kind of what led to him 
wanting to do. So that was a, nice. it's nice to know things that you did many years ago still have a little bit of a trickle down and, and that maybe that's still, you know, out there in some way, but yeah. we, we had, I had nothing to do with that event at all. Just so happy to see it. And the Panacea reunion, mm-hmm. which was supposed to happen at Fanning together for Brett. Right. They were able to do at that event. Oh, good. And so that was amazing. Good. And so, you know, so great to see people being innovative doing new things trying new things and and moving forward as as best they can so all the people that did the streams the people that try to do live shows the stuff they did at the arena with the cars you know not only with the the local event but then they had the, the queen tribute in there the next night uh and a comedian uh awesome yep. awesome stuff and i know you dc you had them on too yep. talking about it yep so and another thing is the rocking around the county which yeah. replaced the um Rock the, the river. rocking at the river. Yep. I'm actually on the committee for for that, and so I've been on some of the phone calls. And uh, the last one is well, they might reschedule Dustin Douglas because he got rained out the first one. Right. But the scheduled last one is for this Friday with uh, John Ardone and the Rockology, and they're mm-hmm. coming through my hometown of Kingston. Yep. And swinging through 44. So check that out. Check the route out support all this stuff because there's people out there even though we can't do much there are some people out there really doing some great things here's another brand new one from don't panic this one's called cheap in wolf's clothes it's hard enough to feel but harder to feel nothing why do i pretend not to care at all
I'm a sheep in wolf's clothing. It's hard to do. Vacancy here on Music on the Menu on the River. Brand new tune called Nobody's Girl. Before that, new music from Don't Panic, a song called Sheep in Wolves Closing. Some of these tunes may have been released out there to the public in uh, April or May or June, but we haven't been here. And so we're getting them on for you tonight for the first time and debuting them here on the program and having a lot of fun doing it. And like I said, we'll have more next week too. because I, I obviously had so much stuff to come in. Uh, I haven't been able to get it all on in one show. I want to give some thank yous here too. While I was stuck at home, DC, I did the podcast series from home. Saw that. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we talked to Brett Alexander, Jimmy Harnon, AJ Jump, Bill Kelly, Joe Nardone Jr., Will Beekman, Dustin Douglas, Richie Kosis, Ellie Rose, Joe Wigleski, Patrick McGlynn, Chris Ludzik, Richard Briggs, Eddie Apnell, Laureen Bohammon, Lobo, yeah. Tom Flannery, Mike Miz, Michael Clorin, and Aaron Fink. I did 19 of them. 19 to talk about COVID-19 and how the music industry was working through the whole thing. They're all up on YouTube. They're all up on the Music on the Menu page. And I want to thank all those people for giving me sometimes up to, you know, almost an hour of their time talking about how they were working through this whole situation. Here's another brand new one from Jay Luke. This one's called Trapped in Your Cell. Some people say they got no one to talk to But the whole Sex too. Some people look to anyone except right to the next two. Some people say they've no one to cry to or to say goodnight to. And some people can't ever decide who when it's themselves that they lie to. Swipe right, who's gonna be next? Your attention span's been shot 
Listening to Music on the Menu with Alan K. Stout. This is The River.
Got no skin in the game. You know it when you feel it. A pocket full of change. Look out my window. Time to rearrange. You never would believe it. A pocket full of change. Sometimes it may feel strange. Memories become stories. A pocket full of change. Joe Stegan here on Music on the Menu on the River with a song called Pocket Full of Change. Before that, Lifer, they dropped some new music during all of this, a song called The Start of Something Else. They also performed at that event I was talking about earlier at uh, Mohegan Sun Arena about two weeks ago in the parking lot. And before that, Jay Luke with a song called Trapped in Yourself. This has been Music on the Menu on the River. Just about out of time here, so obviously I had like four months worth of stuff to try to talk about and play you 13 new songs. So, uh... We'll save some of it for next week. Steamtown Music Awards the nominations came out recently. We'll talk about that a little bit next week. Uh, but really what I want to um, leave everybody with is a thank you. Thanks for thanks for hanging with us. Thanks for coming back to us on Sunday nights. I know sometimes people are creatures of habit. And maybe for 16, 17 years, you flipped us on on Sunday night and we weren't there. And so I hope that you uh, find your way back because, uh, you know, we're we're very happy to be back in D.C., it's great to see you and, you too, and, and, and to know that you made it through all this, you, you know, ha happy and healthy so far. Thank you. That, that's what matters the most. I'll leave you now with a badly song that I've never played before on the show. It goes back to the unfortunate result of spare time from 1993. And it just kind of reminded me a little bit of all the people, myself included, who spent quite a bit of time isolated mm. over the last couple of months. It's called Me, Myself, and I. We'll catch you next week. Yeah.